Hi, my name is Gareth Spence. I'm currently on the road with Adver Optical Networking, discussing some of the key innovations in the networking industry. I'm joined now by Stefan Rettenberger to dig a little deeper into low latency. Stefan, thanks for joining me today. Hello, Gareth. Thank you for having me. Now, the topic of low latency was a hot topic in 2010. We saw a lot of trade press on the topic and a lot of mainstream coverage as well. Why should people care about low latency? Well, I would say a lot of people don't, really. But uh, there's a small group of individuals that really do care about microseconds and nanoseconds. Um, these folks are mainly dealing with applications like high-frequency trading, arbitrage trading, etc. And in these applications, a millisecond difference can mean a fortune. Okay, true. Is it still a hot topic then in 2011, something we should watch out for? So I would predict yes. I think um, it caught the industry to a certain extent by surprise in 2010 because there was one big announcement, especially on the Chicago to New York route. Mm -hmm. um, a new fiber was laid. Uh, the company was bold enough to say we just take the shortest connection between the two points and dug a new fiber into the ground. Just uh, by shortening the fiber distance, they were gaining some advantage about the existing networks that was significant enough to put a lot of new customers onto that route. As you mentioned, the New York to Chicago route really was the focus of a lot of talk last year. Is it only long distances where low latency is an issue? Mm, absolutely not. I think there, um, on the low latency side, you certainly understand it quite easily that distance matters and a shorter distance gives you shorter transmission times. But we're talking the speed of light here. So it's not just the speed of light and the fiber, it's also the transmission equipment that goes on there. And that equipment is not only relevant in the long distance space, but also by connecting metropolitan areas inside the cities, as well as then the proximity between the locations. So it's not only a long area, wide area topic, but also something that is important in metropolitan area networks. Okay, um, low latency deployments seem to be spread across a few hot pockets around the world. What's happening in other regions at the moment? So again, I think the US, rightfully so, grabbed most of the attention in 2010. I think a lot of progress and new investment went into low latency networks in North America. I predict that other regions will follow. Certainly the geographical setup um, has a play in terms of how much equipment is needed and how the networks are being built. But London, Frankfurt, a couple of the trading places also in the Far East are trying to optimize the trading infrastructure and trying to get latency out of the network. Okay. When we talk about latency now, we talk about nanoseconds. How much further can we go with our solutions here? Well, you're right. There's only so much you can do. We're ultimately talking about the speed of light. We know it's a constant. Speed of light in glass is also very well defined. So really, the only areas where can you continue to optimize is either the distance or the transmission equipment that goes onto the network. Um, on the transmission equipment, there's a lot of individual parameters that you can look at. It's the amplification technology, it's the dispersion compensation technology, it's the regenerated technology, etc. We are optimizing all of those. And you're right, we started in the millisecond range, microseconds, and now we're starting to optimize in the nanosecond regime. ADFA made a lot of progress in 2010. I would say we are the leader in low latency networking equipment, transmission equipment and we continue to innovate and we'll continue to keep our advantage over the competition in 2011. Okay, it sounds like we should stay tuned for more announcements this year then. Yes, please, absolutely. Okay, Stefan, thanks for joining me today. Thank you. If you'd like to know more about Adver Optical Networking or its low latency solutions, please visit www.adveroptical.com.